Commission Dark Blue Mesa Severe Weather Risk Evaluation for today, May 1st, 2018, into tomorrow, May 2nd, 2018. New from the SPC, a moderate risk of severe weather has been issued for today or tonight. Uh, primarily going to be this evening into tonight. And this is primarily centered over central Kansas, the moderate risk. And it's actually, I want to point out, hail driven, 45% hail area rather than tornado driven, which is still in the enhanced risk level. Some cities in the moderate risk area do include Salina, Kansas, and Great Bend, Kansas. Looking at the uh, forecast models, we're going to be looking at a 0 0 Z this evening on the GFS right here. Increased upper level flow, mid level flow actually in this case, coming out over Kansas, Nebraska, Iowa, northwestern Missouri, uh, perhaps a little bit of Oklahoma, but that's irrelevant today. Sufficient for enhanced deep layer vertical shear. The low level winds will be increased as well in response to deepening low pressure, which will result in a 40 to 50 knot low level jet uh, centered over this area here, although again the Oklahoma part of it is kind of irrelevant today. Mid-level temperatures, looking at 700 millibar temperatures actually, uh, it'll be pretty warm aloft, which will be a reason for uh, substantial convective inhibition present over eastern Oklahoma and Kansas uh, with temperatures of 9 to 10 degrees Celsius at 700 okay. millibars. However, things will be cooler over in this area, including central Kansas and Nebraska, which will allow for convection to develop more easily. Uh, looking at the rapid refresh model, where it shows surface based cape, this shows values really gain high up to 3,500 joules per kilogram in central Kansas, which is part of the reason why the SBC is upgrading the risk. Also, uh, a few storms you saw developing in northwestern Oklahoma. That is possible given weakening inhibition during the evening, uh, but that's a more uncertain risk as you can see they are only in a marginal risk. Should storms develop down there though they would contain a threat for severe weather and large hail. Effective bulk shear value is going to be strong on the order of 45 to perhaps 55 knots which will allow for discrete supercellular convective development primarily during the late afternoon and evening over the next few hours is when it's going to be developing and primarily impacting central Kansas. Looking at the forecast soundings which will give us a better vertical uh, analysis of the atmosphere, central Kansas where it shows super cell composite parameter of 20 and this is based on the GFS model. And this gives you an idea that the equilibrium level is going to be very high. One thing I do notice across most models is a fairly substantial surface dew point depression. What that will do is possibly create problems with cloud base heights, although cloud base heights in this model are not particularly high, which could still allow for tornadoes to develop and probably will still allow tornadoes to form. Very high composite parameters as seen down here. STP going up to 3 or even exceeding 3. And again, that's based on the GFS model. So the key things to take away for today's threat would be very large hail and tornadoes, a few of which may be strong over this area primarily of central Kansas and potentially into southeastern Nebraska. Skipping ahead to tomorrow's severe weather threat, looking at 00Z tomorrow on both the GFS and the NAM. The NAM and the GFS are different in some regards. As you see here, the GFS has 12 to 18 on the SCP parameter 
for this area, while the NAM is completely different, has for the same time, this area having the highest SCP. However, I think tomorrow could be a pretty active day and could perhaps be the most active day of this severe weather outbreak. Number one, we have very large cape present over the area, which is also exhibited in the NAM. But another really interesting factor that's going to aid in the development of severe weather tomorrow is the presence of increased upper level dynamics. As we see here, very strong mid-level flow going out over this area uh, as the trough, which is still in the positive orientation, begins to move farther out into the plains and that will create increased vertical shear in the central plains along with low-level winds which will be facilitated by low-level uh, speed maxima although again it's like today it's not it's not really substantial low-level holicity it's not anything absolutely incredible but it does favor the development of some supercell thunderstorms and potentially some strong tornadoes as we see by the SPC outlook for tomorrow, May 2nd, 2018. And again, this represents current thinking. This will likely change. Uh, the SPC will be providing updates as it changes. Enhanced risk of severe weather currently in place across this area from Texas to Kansas and even uh, northwestern Missouri. And within that area, there is a significant hatched area for mostly west central or western Oklahoma into central Kansas. So central Kansas is going to be hit today and tomorrow by severe weather. Still some uncertainties, but uh, very large hail and tornadoes are primary concerns with the risk tomorrow. Lastly, not going to really go into a discussion on the Day 3 outlook, but something that I'm really interested and excited to note is Indiana. Whoops. The last bit didn't work out too well. So I might be seeing some storms again on Thursday. To summarize this analysis, uh, Central Kansas today will probably be the primary area for supercell thunderstorms capable of large, very large hail, could potentially exceed baseball size in some cases, uh, and there could be tornadoes, some of which could be strong. Tomorrow it is Central Kansas into western Oklahoma where significant severe weather is most likely and could be similar threats to today. That has been an evaluation of the severe weather risk today, May 1st, 2018, into tomorrow, May 2nd, 2018.